and sisters good afternoon in this holy mass let's pray for the following intentions this mass is offered by rita legnante on the occasion of the birthday of marcia delifield from chicago usa and for the good health of larry and also let's pray for all the donors of our divyavani tv channel in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit my dear brothers and sisters the theme that runs through the both the readings of the day is that we should obey god and not men and there is a distinction between the things from the above and the things from below and both the readings give testimony to this fact that as long as we obey the lord the lord is with us and he gives us victory no matter what happens in the path and for the times we have failed to do so for the times we have failed to obey the law of the lord and for the times we have tried to please the people let us ask for god's forgiveness and mercy i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through, through my, my fault, fault through, through my, my fault through, through my, my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed of mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray O God who for the salvation of the world brought about the paschal sacrifice be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ our high priest interceding on our behalf may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you free us from our sins through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the acts of the apostle When the captain and the officers had brought the apostle they set them before the council 
And the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charge you not to teach in this name. Yet here you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostle answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on the tree. God exalted him at his right hand as a leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses to these things, and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be, This poor man called, This poor man called, And the Lord heard him, And the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise always on my lips. Taste and see that the Lord is good, He is happy who seeks refuge in Him. Your response, This poor man called, this poor man called and the lord heard him and the lord heard him the lord read, the lord turns his eye to the just and his ears to the ap appeal they call and the lord heard, hears and rescues them in all their distress your response this poor man called this poor man called and the lord heard him and the lord heard him the lord is close to the broken hearted those whose, whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue them. Your response, this poor man called, this poor man called, the Lord heard him, the Lord heard him. Kindly arise for gospel acclamation. says the Lord because you have seen me blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord holy gospel according to saint john chapter 3 verses from 31 to 36 holy gospel according to saint john chapter 3 verses from 31 to 36 jesus said to nicodemus he who comes from above is above all he who is of the earth belongs to the earth, and of the earth he speaks. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. He who receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the word of God, words of God, for it is not by measure that he gives the spirit, 
the father loves the son and has given all things into his hand he who believes in the son has eternal life he who does not obey the son shall not see life but the wrath of god rests upon him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers both the readings of the day today puts before us a contrast a contrast to what happens to the people who obey god or who are worried about the things from above with those people that obey men and the people that put their trust from below i would like to reflect with you more about the first reading taken from the acts of the apostles today and the context of the first reading is that the people the apostles who were so timid at the time of jesus death but once they received the spirit they were empowered and the result of this empowerment of the holy spirit is seen that people were flocking to them and people were flocking to them in the in large numbers and when the pharisees saw it they felt jealous of the apostles therefore what happened they sent the soldiers to arrest them and they were arrested and the thing that happened before the first reading today is that the angel of the lord came at night and released the apostles and when the angel released the apostles the angel told them we read it in the book of acts chapter 5 verse 20 and these words are very important when the angel released them from the prison the angel of god told you go and proclaim everything everything about the new life and the important words here is everything you go and tell all don't leave anything untold and you know the apostles what they did they received this message at night and very early morning we read in chapter 5 verse 21 of the acts of the apostles that by the early morning the apostles were in the temple preaching and when they were preaching again that is the beginning of today's first reading the captain and the officers brought the apostles before the council and then the high priest is questioning we told you not to preach and not to teach about jesus and why are you teaching disobeying our word but the peter uh, peter and the other apostles they answered we must obey god rather than men we must obey god rather than men and this has become a very very a phrase that uplifts the spirit of the apostles and then they were not afraid to speak what has happened and they said you know the god of our fathers raised jesus whom you have killed and the apostles must have a lot of courage to say this they know that the same fate they could meet the fate that jesus met probably they may also have to face but then they had the courage to say that we must obey god and not 
men. Brothers and sisters, this courage to confront the people in authority for right reason is what is lacking today in the world today. Especially when the governments make laws and policies that hinder religious freedom, we, the followers of Jesus, should be able to say that we must obey God than men. But today, very less and less people are able to say this, that God is the supreme ruler and the leader. And in the gospel, Jesus contrasts between a person who comes from above and a person who is belonging to the earth. And this courage to see this distinction and to condemn, if needed, the political authorities is a sign of the power of the spirit. In the second chronicles, the book of second chronicles, chapter 26, it is a beautiful incident about the king Uzziah. Uzziah was made a king. He was elected a king at the age of 14. So he was very, very young when he was elected as the king of the Israels. And he ruled for 52 long years. And he was a very, very successful king. And he had lakhs and lakhs of armies. And this king was interested in farming and agriculture. Therefore, he cultivated so much of farms. And he was revered and respected by other kingdoms. And he was a very, very powerful king. And that's why he ruled for 52 long years. And in chapter 26 of the second chronicles verse 15 we read that it is because of god's help that the king uzziah became a very very powerful king the word of god is very clear that it is because of god's help it is because of god's help but then Verse 16 says, because of his pride, he fell down. And he was not, he did not have the fear of the Lord. And you know what he did? He was a king, but he was not a priest. Even though he was not a priest, he thought he can do anything. He can do even the roles and duties of the priest, which are exclusively reserved for the priest. Therefore, he goes into the temple, into the sacred area, and he wanted to do incense to the Lord. And this act is reserved only to the priest. And he thought, as a king, he could do anything. He could take the role of the priest as well. And here we have a, 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 a priest called Azariah and other 80 priests who were very brave. The word of God calls them, this Azariah and other 80 priests, they were very brave to condemn their own king. They said, king, you are not supposed to do this incensing because you are not a priest and this work is reserved for the priest alone. And then when the king heard, he did not amend his ways. He did not listen to them. And he got angry. And then he abused those priests. And you know what happened? When the priest looked at the king Uzziah, instantly Uzziah became a leper. The king who was in such a glorious state, now became a leper and leprosy was with him until he died. And not only that, because he became a leper, when he died, he was not buried 
in the place where the former kings were buried and these 80 priests and azaria who pointed their fingers to even though he was a king they have the courage to say that we have to obey god and not a king and not men and that courage is what needed my dear brothers and sisters in today's world today let us pray for the grace that we show our courage and be not timid when we have to stand for our faith even if it means that we displease kings even if it means that we be persecuted because jesus says if you are persecuted remember that i am persecuted before you let us pray for the strength and courage in today's eucharistic celebration let us all stand and pray for our personal intentions and the intentions of the church and of our families God our loving father we pray for the holy catholic church for the pope the priests the bishops and all the baptized laity that we learn to obey you and not men even if it means that we be hated by the world let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear our prayer lord we pray for the leaders of our nation who make laws and policies that they respect human dignity and religious freedom and may be men of integrity that they also may remember and acknowledge that it is you who give them power so that they also may obey you and live a life that pleases you let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer lord we pray for the people that are offering this mass that are celebrating her birthday that this person may be filled with your choicest blessings and always remember and see you as our creator and redeemer let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we remember all the donors of our tv channel because of whose generosity we are able to take this god's word to every family that their prayers and hearts desires may be fulfilled according to god's will let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for a few moments let's pray for personal intentions we make these prayers and the prayers in our hearts through christ our lord amen this bread and wine take a heart and make them thine take a Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, a loving Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and our good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you at more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our force, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Antony, our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of god's peace Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so the word my soul shall be healed may the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen prayer of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i decide to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come into my heart spiritually I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you holy never permit me to be separated from you amen Let us pray. Almighty our living God, who restore us to the eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer. spouse of the blessed virgin mary to you god entrusted his only son in you mary placed her trust 
with you christ became man blessed joseph to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life obtain for us grace mercy and courage and defend us from every evil amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless us in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen our holy mass is ended let us go in peace and joy of christ thanks be to god to